This is what you signed up for. This is exactly what I signed up for. Hello, chat. Welcome to the stream. It's us three idiots again playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. We're gonna play for a little. Yeah, yes, much. Fire Emblem Three Idiots. Let's go. Three Idiots with one controller. So All we're gonna... right. Three so... Idiots for the price of one. Yes. It's Hello, a, a everybody. Deal. It is I, uh, the one who is actually the brain cell around here. Yes. And then there is Greg. Greg I'm just here for the here. ride. Greg is here just to have fun with watch us be idiots. Daniel's here to actually yep. guide me how to play an actual RPG. And, and that's I, the one who has the controller. I am the one who has the controller. I am to be him. the one who plays. So, unfortunately, due to a lot of unforeseen circumstances, we were not able to stream last week. I and was this sick. Week we're, and, la and this week we are streaming late, so we will not be able to stream very long. We're going to stream for about an hour or so. I was at a hockey game. My and I'm lost. suddenly be able to fix my sleep schedule, so I'm not ruining it again. There you go. All right, so it looks so like... We'll probably just do the house battle, and that'll be it for today. Unfortunately. That is totally maybe fine. We might do gorillas at some point, maybe. No, next week. Well, we'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, so oh. start the battle. <laughs> do the schedule. Figure out how to start the battle. <laughs> Wait, how do you start the battle? I know you looked at the mission brief the last time. There we go. There we go. Okay, formerly a promising young mercenary, you are now the newest professor of Resigious Officers Academy. Students and faculty alike look on with with curiosity as you engage in a mock battle between the school's three houses. Curiosity and dread. Alright, let's go. Let's murder our, ki our children. Wait. Is it? <laughs> Our children. Um, you might as well just those. save on both of those. Yeah, or, maybe. well, whatever. All right. That was a very quick load. I don't know what we were supposed to gauge out of that uh, information. Time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm. How should we go about this? Murder everybody. <laughs> well, you'll be our commander. That much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got it, Teach? But you can't say that to a teacher. I'm can, not concerned. Can and will. <laughs> the, the face on Violet just screams, I'm not concerned, regardless of what, what you actually say. It just looks immensely non-pulsed by this entire uh, yeah. ordeal. Right. I'll do whatever I can to help too. I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little Or you could to your just attack better stomachs. or be a leader that you're supposed to be. Don't even yeah, yeah, about wink, it. wink, I read you. You can't officially condone that sort of thing, right? Bro, you go no, got ten points from Gryffindor. If you're doing this to win a fight, then you're a pathetic leader. But say, hypothetically speaking, students from the other houses started racing. Oh, Daniel, we are not. Chat, we are not going to stream Hogwarts Legacy. Holy as shit. As far as anyone knows, it could just Dude, be there's so many streamers who've been bug making the rounds. Oh my god. I mean, look, even beyond the fact well, well, of the bullying situation, which we are not Maybe condoning, no. none of us particularly like. Harry Potter. I like the book. I read the books as a kid. I enjoyed the original movies. And then I think the Fantastic Beast movies killed the franchise. What killed it for me was the Harry Potter fanfiction writing community that uh, has some really weird stuff. Oh, God. God. Yeah, <laughs> there's some weirdos in that. Every I've heard of rumors advantage. of that. Like, no why on it's Earth not as bad would as Harry the, uh... Potter be romantically involved with the man who <laughs> killed his really parents? Scheme? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Why? Nope. See, no, that's no, so no, bad. No, By the way, I know another, uh, another thing. Look at this if, that's you know, your, what, if that's your OTP, you have shit taste. What's the other, uh, what's the other franchise that had, like, the sparkling vampires? At least it's not Twilight. Twilight. It's fan fiction. Because you know what a Twilight fan fiction turned into? It turned into the, uh, what's that weird, like, sex movie? Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey? It turned into Fifty Shades. That started out as fan fiction for Twilight. 
I'm a 40 year old. I mean, woman. all things considered, that's just like the natural course fan fiction goes. The movie down, is just, that but, entire uh, franchise is just for sexually repressed 40 year old women. It's irrelevant anyhow. <laughs> that's Whatever certainly one plan, way of phrasing it. I mean, Daniel, it's for women who can't get their husbands to do anything. She has a point. <laughs> Still, like, let's be honest. So, uh, sort of it's for horny housewives. Up, you know, up. Okay. <laughs> you heard him teach. We can't let uh, these fine folks down. This is not the conversation I thought we were going to have before. What, what did our... you think we were going to have? <laughs> of course, um, a fair fight. As something about are. the fact Good that one, none of us Play are playing Hogwarts so Legacy. They won't see it coming. Oh, how precious. Well, uh, like thank you, you for your naivety. Have become fast friends. Right. While I am pleased so, that you who, were taking so the initiative to are, oh, yourself oh, with the students. Oh, I'm so afraid we it's have about three time professors, for right? Yeah. Which houses are these two going to? I don't know. We'll find out when we start the battle. I'm sorry, Professor. Wait, faculty strategy meeting. Are we gonna anyway. uh, believe or make them all believe that so we're, we're on their side and then kill them all when they're not looking? I look forward no, we're to just assessing your abilities. Them. I hope you don't disappoint. All right. So same controls as usual. Did you know how to control your character while moving through the monastery at the day after you walked Ran the through monastery. the monastery? All right, here we go. And more dialogue. Guide magic. Just equip magic and attack magic in place of a weapon you can use. This magic, regardless, it is limited uses, but the will probably at the end of the battle, that makes sense. It's determined by the skills how much magic you get. Develop faith to learn white magic. Okay. Um, okay, so most of that is not gonna be relevant until we get to actual Later. Lesson. Yeah. Choose the youth option to determine who to send to battle, blah 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 blah, that's normal. Choose the inventory option to equip stuff. I thought that last option said badass, not free. <laughs> nice. Is the map option to all right? Okay, so it's time to story. learn how to tactically assess a map. All right, so these are my students that I've got. So I'm sorry to hear that. Let's see. So the units with the green highlight you have to bring. All right, so keep that in mind. Gotcha. That makes sense. So I have the to other bring at least myself and kind of take off as you will. Gotcha. So let's see. so look. Let's look over this. Um, I have no. Okay, so that's a lance user. Lawrence is lance. Marianne's a magic user. Sword and faith. And... She's an animal friend. Her specialty is animal friend. No wait, that's not that was that's not her item. That's her abilities. Okay. Raphael is axe and brawling. Yeah, that makes sense. He's a huge. Nah. Okay, so go back and no, 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 I mean like back to the previous menu and just go up to items. Okay, so okay, so she does actually have magic. So, all right, so Lorenz is equipped with an iron lance. Hilda has an iron uh, axe. axe, and Marianne has Nosferatu and a training sword. So she actually has dark magic. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That said, um, if we're going for OP tank exploder girl, then we should probably switch Marianne with Lysenta. Lysenta? Unless we can... Or actually, no, we need to go back for that. So back one more, and then we need to go over to units. And yeah, so it says on the top we can only deploy five out of five units, so... I think we select A on Marianne, and then there should be an option to say, like, get rid of it. Oh, well, that works. It's just click A. Yeah. If there's any other units you want to switch out, like, say, I don't know, getting Raphael instead of somebody else, you're free to change up whoever you like. It just said, as the strategist is here, I am hitting Let's a... Let's do these ones. Let's check out the map. Okay. So... Uh, facing red today. Well, the thing is, I think we're going to be facing all the other students, so everybody's technically your enemy here. 
Ah, so Manuel, I got them. Yeah, so assumedly the two professors are the main. Um, what do you call it? The main. Oh, right there too. The main leaders. So it's gonna be trying to take out the leaders. Now you'll notice that some of your units have boxes underneath them. I think if you select those units, you can switch them out with units in other boxes. Ultimately, that's not gonna matter too much. Though. What's uh, I say just save just in case so we don't have to go through the tutorial again. So just save over the first one. And um, after that, uh, select fight, I guess. <laughs> Begin! Wrap the enemy. And don't all die. If it does, so, I'm just gonna this is the stage for the mock battle. The command's all yours, Teach. Okay. I'm sure you already uh, understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. All right. All right. So just advance, um, everybody. So, Stay focused. Um, you your melee units should go in front. So Violet in first, followed by Lorenz and Hilda, and keep. Uh, if they put Violet like here in the bush. No, oh, like that's an attack spot. Uh, you can keep him in the bush and like lure the dude towards you. So yeah, put Violet there, and then that guy's gonna attack you. So just have him wait, and then have Lorenz I stand ready. to the right of Violet, and then Hilda to the right of Lorenz, Ooh, and then have. Um, let's see. Have Claude to the... Ready and willing. Or one right and one above Hilda. So yeah, because if you put her... If you put him above Hilda, then he'll get attacked by the other bow dude. We should do and it then the put Lysentha behind Claude. <laughs> We're gonna strategy the shit out of this. Right. I will fight on the front line. That's encouraging. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to... <laughs> I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. This man is just completely Thank you, done with this. <sighs> we are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, Your Highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, By the way, when I say that, it's encouraging. I you hope you taste my Keep our enemy occupied until then. I would I advise it. probably taking out the, uh... Oh, we'll try our best. Well, I was going to say the, um... Whatever that's the heck the... Oh, uh, missed! Elder and I got an attack off. off. Let's go. Yeah, and that's the joys of staying in a bush. This is still fun. All right. Now here's where the actual fighting begins. Now you're gonna need to do this a little bit carefully so you get attack priorities correct. Right. So firstly, Violet should go around. Well, actually no. Um, have Hilda actually come up and attack. Uh, I can't. Ferdinand. Can I? Yeah. You're gonna have a little bit of advantage. Six. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this is also why I hate axe users in this game. Because really bad. Mind, um, they have a tendency to miss a lot. Uh, Alright, all right, so do I move like Zenta up and attack uh, Ferdinand. And then... Yeah. Just two HP, seriously? Um. So you can do, you can either kill him with Claude, or you can have Claude attack the other bow user, but that has a chance of backfiring, because the bow user can attack you back. Yeah. So... I think I'll make Byleth attack him. Um, I would move Byleth, like I was going to say, move Byleth to the other side of Ferdinand, so he has more, so he has uh, uh, the ability to move to the Let's next move him up here. Points. And then, can I attack now? Yeah, now, now you attack. 
I'm so tired. Two iron swords. I don't know why I have two iron swords. Let me use this one. And he's done. I'm the son of House Iyer. How did I fail? I must need to train harder. That is that. Why does he have a sword if he has a lance? I don't know, but that's a. Or rather, why does he have a lance if he has a sword? All right. Uh, move Lorenz up. Here. Maybe either next. Uh, just move him next to Byleth right now. So here. Yeah. He might take a hit, but it should be fine. Now, I would recommend attacking the bow dude with Claude, but yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a trade-off. I think Claude will win. Move this up here into the attack spot so you can see HP. Alright, that's the end of my turn. Hmm. You are performing as expected, Professor. We will have to face you with our full might. We will use the forest to ambush our enemy. Everyone, I am counting on your- That only works about as well as you can't attack. Ouch. Yeah, Whoa. gonna need to watch out for that. She's done. Ooh, she said, all right, he's done. So strong. Yeah, do next time. Th this is already going very well. All right. If they're um, waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. Well, first I should finish him off because he has like no HP. Well, he has full yeah, HP, but so, I should. So don't attack with Violet. I would recommend. What? Um, I would recommend moving Hilde up. And talking to Violet about break. the convoy. So move her next to Violet. Here? Uh, anywhere, but yeah, that works. It's safer. Oh my. Uh, check items first. Yeah, you're gonna be moving it. Oh my. <laughs> Just move it to the bottom left, I think. I'm Just moving it here. All right. Yeah. So I uh, use the Volnary. Okay, right. so now she's healed up a little bit. Um, yeah. You can kill the Hilbert with whoever. Sure. I guess Lysentha if you really want, but anybody works. Wait, what? I already had she has less one HP than that. What, Me what too. are you talking about? Did he heal? I don't think so. I gotta well, nuke, I'm gonna that's... nuke him with everything I got. I think I you were looking at his level, not his age. No. Well, now he's down, so. <sighs> yeah, so the we're gonna need to Volnary uh, like that so he doesn't die on the way out. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna move. They, he did I'm say they're hurt. waiting in the forest. You said detours, so we should go against, like. Here. Uh, I uh, I am of the opinion that we go to the left. So bring Claude and Lorenz more to the left, and we'll see what happens. Either I think they're either gonna break down the fence when you get in range. Should we stand here or here? Uh, just advance him as far out as possible. Okay. Um, okay, so move Lysenta or Lysenta as far whatever. <laughs> as far left as possible and then item her. Because I'm pretty sure she has a bone in there. Okay. It's not much HP. And start moving like Hilda Who, me? and Violet over. Um, you can have uh, you can have him like one up as well. So, so here. if there if there's an attack, he's uh, more available for that. Got it. Okay. Um, I don't think you're in attack range quite yet. So just move. Yeah, move him up t to there. No, no, not not forward. Just up to there. Yeah. And then. Oh wait. Look at the combat art. See if you have any. Herb shot. Herb shot. Hit. Oh, you can attack him, I think, with a herb shot. 
Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Don't attack that. That's the fence. You have yeah. to move up. Oh, wow. wait. I'll wait. Okay, yeah. Waiting's fine. And move Lorenz up. Uh, yeah. Now we wait and see what they do. Okay, okay they're turn. not doing anything. So, um, I think we can start moving up. Uh, okay, move Hilda up. Yeah. And then see if you can get uh, Lysethia to a rough. point. Uh, I don't think you can get her to a point where you can attack. So just move her to there. Yeah. He's another vulnerary. She's half dead. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. All right. Uh, move Claude up and attack uh, Eldar. Look attack. at that, a real life princess. I'll have to be careful not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this would be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? You're weak. Oh, oh what the heck? Uh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Do you have to attack again? Yeah, so if you have some amount of speed difference over the opponent, then you're likely to get a second attack. What should I do now? Um, see, now here's the problem. Um, we're gonna need to break down at least one of the fences, so I recommend breaking down that fence. I don't think you're gonna break it down completely, but you could get some. Um, fortunately, we're also gonna just need to move up. I think we might sacrifice Claude here, but uh, move. To the right of the fence in front of Claude and attack it. Or you could check your combat arc and see that. I don't think it does. Yeah, no, that's not gonna do anything. Just attack it. The thing is, I'm surprised that Eldegard hit as well because well, Eldegard only got 60 accuracy. We must go. Okay, let's see. Does she hit? Yes. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't expect. Well, that's all. Mm. Alright, I need to play a little bit safer now. Um, Destroy the fence. Not quite. Let's focus on Eldegar first. So, I want you to move Hilda up and break the fence. Now attack Eldegar with uh Pilot. There can be no victory unless I defeat you. What the, how so are you beat. how is your accuracy that yeah. low with advantage? God damn it. Whoa! Well you do heal a bit, so that's forced to retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Okay. That's a big. Uh, that's good. Yeah. So yeah, move. Have an attack fence. Uh, no, you don't have to have him attack. But first, I want you to bring uh, Lizzie. Leave uh, it to Lizzie me. Up We're here. And have her attack the fence. Er, really? Yeah, because you can't bring uh, Lizzie up enough to attack uh, Dorothea. So Jeez, now Lorenz attacks Dorothea with this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think not. Why is your unit Ooh. accuracy so bad? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Enemy face. Oh, uh, good. Oh, missed. Okay. Um. Okay. I recommend Violet. Uh, Here. Check the, check the stats on that. Uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Where oh, are your feet? We must all do our part. 
No, seriously, where where did, where did Violet's feet go? I don't know. Either. I have no idea. What stage? We don't have. All right, so now we attack with let's, with somebody else, like most likely Lazy. Um, yep. I do stress to very much watch out for just rapid pressing because you might miss that a stat is like, or you might see, oh yeah, I have 20 damage on this hit. And then you miss the fact that, oh, I have uh, 20 accuracy on that hit. Alright, start moving everybody up towards uh, the teacher. Yeah. Just then move him here and then. Uh -huh. Wait, and then. You, I'll move you, I guess, pretty much here. Yep. Okay. I also push. don't and know what the now. teacher does, though, so be careful about that. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna need to move everybody through the forest, so just... Envoy. Get them situated in a way that um, they can get ready to attack, at least. Wait, why does she have her bow? I'm gonna move her all the way up here. That's a bad idea. Um, put her here. Actually, uh, we could check and see what her weapon is. Uh, okay, yeah, so so the red tiles are basically where her attack range is. So if you. Well, I think you pressed on her. So, like, press the button on her again. Yeah, so now I think if you move off, it'll keep the red. Yeah, oh, so right. you can basically see where you can put your units before they get attacked. So put her here, then. Yeah. So just put all your units outside of her range. You're probably going to need an extra turn to do this. And then we can start going for the attack once all your units are ready. So this might be a turn or two. Wait, 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 hold on. Should I go here or here? Um, you can put her, you can put him right on the space. If the red doesn't chain or is in the same spot, then that just means the unit doesn't move. If it's so... like really big, then the unit moves. So just move, move Violet back one space from there. Yeah, and then put him there. Yeah, so it's going to bring. Right, and now we just um, figure out how's the best combination of ways to beat the professor after this. So, just ready up. Just skipping. Alright, let's see how much damage Violet does and takes in this interaction. I. Well. Dude. And gone. I do want to stress I nearly being careful about. I know. I, I saw the uh, stuff. So. You well, no, 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 no. I'm not God, saying that that's a. This is so annoying. Like I can't. Get I, I think just up. leave it at the bottom left. I'm gonna bottom left it and I'm gonna shrink it. So you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now. I must focus and then make my move. Okay, so I recommend putting some of your weaker units on that spot that the teacher was on because that's a heal spot. Every turn, you'll basically get free HP. Or at least if I'm remembering this correctly. Yeah, for the units that don't need the heal, you can like um, move them Beautiful forward and prepare professor. your assault. But the true challenge starts now. They're not gonna well, is he going to start moving? No, nope, they're just like, yeah! Well, give it a second. Oh, there oh they're moving! They're smoving! Right, you? Um, okay, so move Hilda and... No, 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 don't move her back. I'm healing. I know, I was going to say you're going to need to move Hilda in a spot where he can meet the opponent. But no, this well, is also sorry. fine. Move Violet down to meet the axe, dude. And try and get him... Yeah, get him out of the range of the bow user. If he if he gets attacked by the axe wielder, that's fine. Ish. Well, that also works. 
And um, move lights at the back behind Violet. Uh, no, uh, I meant uh, one, one to the left. So Lorenz is gonna get one attack. Oh no, what the hell? Yeah. Help. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. And I you. Okay, right. so let's try and move Hilda up to take on the bow user. Because I'm fairly certain she's so going to do this. Uh yes. Yeah, actually that's not bad. Alright. Okay, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Alright, move Lorenz to finish her off. Or that doesn't kill her. Alright, move Violet to attack the axe wielder. I gotta heal. Well, unfortunately, you're not gonna get a chance to. Um, so, move Lysenta up to attack the axe wielder, but you need to check what weapon you're attacking with. Yeah, wait, why are you not equipped with your Nosper Oh, you're out of... I'm out of magic. Oh, that's a ass. Um, well, we're gonna have to crutch on the fact that Bill Day doesn't... Matt, this is why I didn't say you don't oh, right. just spam press buttons. I read about the weapon triangle, my bad. It's not even the weapon triangle, you just didn't do damage. Like Forgive me. Ever. Now what? Um, you're still fine because technically the battle doesn't rely on, uh, what's his face. So you just don't have him as a unit right now. Alright, um. Move Hilda to take on, uh, the axe, dude. Well, luckily the stats worked out. Now move Lysenta to attack Bow Girl. And... Two. Six. Well, okay, that's going to be a problem. We're gonna need to figure out a better weapon for her in the future. Um, move Lorenz around Dorothea to the other, whatever her face is, Mercedes, I think, to the yes. other side. You can't, you can't attack the axe guy, but you can move her, him around so that um, he's to the right of uh, Lysithia. Attack. And now attack. Two. Oh. Orc. Um. Well, this is just a pain in the ass now, isn't it? Move Lorenz over to the axe dude and see what happens. Uh. We're gonna probably need to do that. Really? Yeah. It's gonna suck, but I think you're like you need to do Missed. this to get rid of him. Yeah. Thank all God. Right. Now Hilda. Next guy. Yep. And he can't hit you back. Apologies, Your yeah. Highness. I can go no further. Uh, I'm all sweaty. Alright, now move Lysethia into the heal spot and bow. Yeah, you should still be fine. I mean, you take the hit. Because Lysethia is a magic DPS, which means that her offensive stats are rubbish. I can't take Mercedes now. 
Yeah, so attack Mercedes with either of your two melee units. Oh no! This is as far as I can go! You can't compete with me! Nice. Alright, so we're not really gonna be able to use Lysethia for the time being, I think, so... No, 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 do not end. So move Lysethia into the forest. We're gonna basically ignore her for the time being. And move Hilda onto the heal squad. Into the forest. I know, just, like, you don't even have to put her in the forest. Just move her away from the heal squad. We're not gonna really consider her for the time being. Yeah, move Hilda there. We'll heal, then Hilda and Lorenz move forward towards um, Dimitri. Yeah, so start moving both of them towards the edge of the forest. You can move Lysethia back into the heal spot if you want to maybe get some extra DPS, but I'm not expecting a whole lot of damage out of her. Well, that's a angle. Yes, right there. And back to the heal spot. Now, there are... I'm of two minds of this. Number one is that technically we could try attacking the professor and take the heal spot, but I don't know if Dimitri is going to start moving towards us. So actually, click on Dimitri. Yeah, Dimitri moves, Ooh, right? Boy. So we need to keep that in mind. So what you could technically do is have a bait here. So, like, move Lorenz or somebody into the, his range. And then Dimitri will move towards Lorenz. But then you can move Hilda next to Lorenz to then deal damage. So put Lorenz here? Technically, yes. Yeah. So you put Lorenz there. He waits. Hilda falls up. And then you have Lysethia move in from behind as well to provide extra support if needed. That's a <laughs> Gotta hate those near 90% misses. Yeah. Alright, so see if Lysethia can hit for any amount of damage. No, 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 not Hilda. Lysethia. You want to do this as no. safely as possible. So, let's no. see. Nope. Alright, so don't even bother with her. Um, start with Hilda, I think. Um, we might we need to Vulnary uh, Lorette. I think we do, yeah. Look at him. Well, so check the damage on the four. Yeah, you're not gonna live a double hit, so you need to vulnerary with uh, him. Alright, and go to the menu and then just end turn. Damn, he really has it out for <laughs> Lorenz. Yeah. Okay, check the Hilda engagement. I could use again. a break. Uh, you. I would not risk that. Bol move her closer and vulnerable. So just like right there, don't attack. Just uh, like that. Um, we could try using Lorenz's combat. Er, no, actually, just heal Lorenz. Well, let us be cautious. Just keep them in the same spot, heal, and then end turn. He'll attack Lorenz again, and then we can attack with Hilda without more consequences. Oh, six. How the fuck does he keep going through you? Who, me? Uh, let's hope this hits. Done. All right. Thank God. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. 
All right, so start moving Lysethia and uh, Lorenz towards the edge of the attack zone. Once everybody's in range, we start attacking. Do note that um, unlike the last professor, this professor has a barrier around some of the corners of the, his attack range, so you're gonna need to go in from different entrances. I need to heal Lorenz again. So wait, wait, wait. So move Lorenz one down, one to the right first. Alright, now you can. Oh, oh, damn it. Well, he can't do anything, so it's fine. Alright, now attack with Hilda. Okay. Well, let's see what the damage is first. I, yeah, I'm not. I wouldn't risk that. Heal Lorenz first, so you have extra backup just in case. All right, now attack with Hilda. Ah, uh, just missing a level up. All right. Um, we'll attack with Lysenda. Let's go Well, at the very Perfect least, this will probably likely cause him to be distracted and try and kill her. He healed. Yeah, she's down. Well, vexing. This isn't what I wanted. Alright, this might be a little on the tricky side. Attack with Lorenz first. Okay. I stand ready. Or bring Lorenz up. No, wait, hold on. Bring Lorenz up to the square in front. Yeah. Right there. Use his combat arts. Oh, yeah, true. Let's see what this skip does. This Ooh. might be what we need. Yep, that's exactly what we need. No, 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 no. That's, that's really good. Because now I think he's in kill range of... Uh, I am still far that's from exactly what we want where, where we want him to be. So check all those combat arts. So you need to just click on the square Hilda's on. Combat arts. Uh, yeah, we want 100% chance of hitting this. <laughs> 15 Jesus. My goodness. I'm starting to think that maybe if we were using some more of those combat arts beforehand, we would have maybe not have yeah. landed in this situation. Uh, if anybody's wondering why I wasn't recommending doing that sooner, it's because I'm not used to combat arts. I'm used to the skills just being something you have on the unit. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. You didn't do anything, Claude. Nope. That may or may not be my fault. MVP but also, dumb. turns 23. Those motivation is maxed out. Hooray. Why am I connecting to the internet? That's a good question. All right, now you double save if possible. Nope, well, let me save once. My, thank you so and... much. What? <laughs> Why did Dorothea just start talking? It was most deployed for like just people who play this game. That was a brilliant win. I guess. I, for one, am very uh, glad we saw how I managed to the win. Of your command and deflecting the praise to your students. You really are a model professor, Teach. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I, I didn't have to resort if you to any lose of them. That. I suppose our opponents Look looked up. out. Get me on the internet. Well met, Professor. Mm -hmm. The breadth of your skills oh, is God, on full display all over today. Here. I must admit zombies that your attacked. tactics were masterful. The I shudder to think what may have children. transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. Oops. I noticed that too. We just did what you told us, and we won! I love it! As expected from a child of the former captain of the Knights. Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Uh, me? Oh, um, yes, of course. Well done, professor. You're welcome, Chad. I muted my well. 
It would have been more of a surprise had our professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all too. of the credit, Leone? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. It's a prince. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely I mean, aged cheese from the dining hall for just what this you gotta do. I guess if you're that bored. But given how he was saying that he was gonna poison the other people, I'm not 100% confident in his cooking. No. Your work with the students was remarkable. Well, I can see Gerald trained you well. Yeah, I think you were able to use minutes. the occasion to bond with the students. Daniel, yeah, you know, I think like what happens if you lose a part just makes you restart. Because it's probably a you can't lose fight. I would hope so, because it would it wouldn't really make sense if you could perma die I'm on so that happy stage. To hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion which will take place during the wyvern moon. That's a you lot of animals. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. Right. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. You're sending a bunch of students to fight murder bandits? I mean, it clearly worked well the first time, remember? Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need. Regardless it, of social standing, really? students well, are no I mean, exception. Killed somebody, each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You know what, sure, you that's shall the work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report this back to the sounds like a great way of killing deadline. all your Understood. kids. It really does. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can sense well, thanks, something special I in your heart. I have high hopes. You could just you. give me a paper. <laughs> exactly, you could just write it down. Bandits, they say. Oh yeah, you, Sothis. Do you recall alive? when you first met? You shall not no. fall so shamelessly again, correct? Oh, hey, the weird music. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not gonna lose, right? <laughs> Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> I like to imagine you that, to that I am um, Violet is just making all these to faces to himself in the middle of the room where everybody still can see him. Yeah. Right. <laughs> just, <laughs> he just nods to nobody and they're like, right, I think the professor's a bit tired. Uh, hey, you, why don't you retreat to your quarters for now? What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble day. pipsqueaks as possible. Can we no one said anything about ass. the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. Maybe see where the camera goes. It's going to their armpit. Pretty much was. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now, a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Also, this, this is an anime fantasy. ass villain. I want to say that this is a fantasy world. Why the heck do, do they have a voice changer? Yeah. Hey, this is or is that helmet to. just that hollow or something? I am a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. <laughs> what? <laughs> Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! He's, I'm gonna kill you, Leaves. So, so, I, I'm questioning whether or not... Why, why are we just given another save point? I'm this questioning whether or not um, he was left there to die, or if she's gonna come back and kill them later. Yeah. Part one: White clouds, harp string moon. Or like, Familiar I certainly scenery. hope that was a she. It certainly sounded like one. What this guy? 
No, the other one. In honor of the one saints whose the births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform yeah, music once beloved by those. That's no moon. <laughs> Whether by heart, just the remnants of its avant garde. alone, joyous melodies are also, also all the these race people race look fucking terrifying. Yeah, it's like medieval shit. Right, but why do they all have Pikachu cheeks? Why do they all look like they've been taken over by uh? Fucking what's his face? That is one way of putting it. Also, chat, we finished Mob Cycle 100 a while ago. Um, watch it. It good. It's very good. As somebody who doesn't watch a lot of anime, it's just a good show. There are new places All right, to explore. There are new places to explore. I received 2,000 gold. All right, maybe we can finally buy a new magic book so we don't lose As you out have the already magic been notified, <laughs> your mission is Fight. to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them this with practical the perfect experience. time to have the them actually start murdering people. And are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. More bandits. Well, not very original, Teach. Well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. And with that, I mean, I it'll be interesting if we're all dying and losing our limbs, right? Yeah. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, hi, Dad. Well, I have a life. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, well, that's good we didn't to have know. much contact. I think you have shown this before. We got I thought this being point. thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget, it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. Don't yeah, worry, you're... that's why we have why we're casual, casual mode. Mode. <laughs> I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down. Google ever. something. I'll just keep advancing the dialogue. No, I want to search specifically three houses. Are you actually clicking on any of these nope, things? Nope, it auto or... did it. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but yes. Well, someone on my team's birthday, I gave them flowers. <clears throat> I was a, under the impression you lived a few more of these days than it seems to be. Yeah. All right, um, time to menu. <laughs> it's in. I searched what happens if you let all students die. I found a forum post from Game Facts. Someone said you. Uh, what happens if you uh, let all the students die? It says you only get the Lord of Violet. Nice. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, realistically, it is possible to beat most uh, Fire Emblem games with only the mi like the minimum amount of characters that can't die, if unless or if they die, you game over basically. Like Awakening, I think the only units you had to have alive by the end of the game were Krom and the player character. Everybody else could die if you wanted them to. No thanks. I don't like permadeath. It's annoying. I know, but I just saying like it's a really funny scenario to just run into the final fight and that and you only have two people. Should I go to the marketplace or go I, to I suggest that we menu because it's time for me to go to sleep soon. I Unless you see. want Greg to be the one to navigate you. Yeah, I'm gonna no. have to go to sleep pretty soon too. I'll save here too. Probably yeah, save for the better. Both spots, please. Alright. All right, Chad, well, thank you for coming out to this short one-hour stream. Our second fight is nearly a travesty, but not quite. 
Yes, it no, was. No, it was I a travesty. This is a triumph. You keep telling yourself that. No, I meant I was doing the portal. But there are so many that. questions I have to ask about this combat system that I can't ask the game because I can't control it. This but, was a triumph. Uh, yeah. What? No, the. I'm d this was a triumph. I'm making a note here. As in my save file. My save file is my note. Thank you, GLaDOS. Okay. Well, uh... Thanks for coming out to the stream chat. Thanks for watching. Uh, also, if you haven't watched my newest video on my YouTube channel yet, it was my first battle on uh, Ashika Island on Warzone 2.0, the new Resurgence mode. Go ahead and watch it. I actually managed to win, so go ahead and watch me do my best as I play around the map like an idiot. Because it's my first time playing on it. And I don't know it like I know Reapers. But uh, anyone have anything else to say? Not really. Lorp. Alright, well, good night, everybody. Thank you for coming out to the stream, and welcome to uh, February 19th. It is now Sunday. Goodbye! Bye.